Hello, my name is John Willis, and I'd like to welcome you to the Chris Bennetson Virtual Exhibition. One day in December 1951, a young man, an immigrant from Denmark, sat down on a park bench outside Union Station in Toronto. It wasn't a very cold day. It was about 5 to 10 degrees Celsius, a little bit cloudy, a little bit sunny. He was all by himself. He'd lost his first job. He'd only been in Canada for about three days. Nowhere to go, no real prospects. Another man, slightly older than him, came and sat down beside him. In fact, a bricklayer up from the United States to do a job in Toronto. And he wished to engage this young man in conversation. So, first of all, he started speaking to him a few words in English. The other gentleman couldn't reply, he didn't understand a word of English. So he tried German. He didn't get much of a response either. So then, on a whim, he tried Danish. And he received a full response. They had a long conversation. It turns out that these were both Danes. The young Danish immigrant from Spandet, a little village close to the Danish-German border. He was the son of a butcher. His name was Chris Bennetson. Chris was very lucky that day. A good Samaritan came along and helped him out. Paid for his dinner, helped find him a job. Chris, in 1951, ended up staying the rest of his life here until he passed away in 2002. Chris became a sheet metal worker, specialized in the installation of air systems. He helped build the new Toronto, as well as other sites in southern Ontario. And he was also a careful recorder of his own history. He kept every letter he sent and received. He kept his pay stubs, photographs, newsletters, you name it. He was an inveterate collector. And this forms the basis of the Benison collection we have today, all 19 boxes. I first heard about Benison in 1998, sitting around in the backyard of my friend Yves Frenette in Toronto, and we were talking with a chap named Gabriel Scaldolato, who told us about this chap, Benison, whom he interviewed on previous occasions. We wanted to do a research project on the immigrant and the letter, and so we decided to start with Benison. We received all of the material in 2001. This is a real treasure trove, which consists not just of Chris's own things, but his wife's material as well. His wife was an Italian Canadian, born in Toronto and raised by her folks in Toronto. So we have a Danish experience and an Italian experience. Chris passed away in 2002. After that, I determined it would be appropriate and good to have this material and make it accessible on the web to all of Canada and the rest of the world. So we invited Carol Anderson to serve as main researcher and writer of this web exhibition. And uh, we brought other members of the team together. And we decided to do this web exhibition and tell his story. And this is a story that reminds us that even in the post-war era, Canada is very much implicated in the rest of the world. And the rest of the world is very much cut off in Canada. This is a lesson that the Benenson Collection teaches us. We hope that you're going to enjoy this web exhibition. Perhaps after you read the scrapbook of Chris Benenson, you might well like to go out to the nearest park bench and sit down. Who knows whom you're going to meet and what story they're going to tell you.